Hi. So today we're going to be talking about a movie that I had not seen until we watched it in the film lab. And we didn't have like a lecture or anything on it, but I, I just need to talk about it. So I'm going to be talking about Parasite, which came out in 2019 and swept through the Academy Awards. It won Best Film, Best Director, Best International Picture, and Best Original Screenplay. Um, it was the first film in a foreign language to win Best Picture, and Bong Joon-ho, the director, was the first South Korean filmmaker to win Best Director, uh, which was so very cool. Now, I've seen Parasite described as a comedy thriller, um, and I do agree with that, but I feel like it transcends so many different genres, and that's actually what I'm going to talk about, is the tonal and genre shift that happens in the middle of the movie. So, Parasite is chock full of social commentary, like, it is a social commentary film focusing on class, and the class divide, how the classes interact with each other, and just class in general. So we follow the story of the Kim family, who live in a semi-basement and struggle with extreme poverty, until Kiwoo, the son, receives a scholar stone by a friend and given the recommendation for a job tutoring the teenage daughter of the very wealthy Park family. From that point, the Kim family drives themselves into this entire scheme to get every single member of the family hired by the Parks, even by framing the previous workers or purposefully getting them sick. Like, exposing the housekeeper to, like, peach fuzz, which they know that she has a deathly allergic reaction to. This film is also full of subtle imagery and foreshadowing, and it's shown especially through the use of windows and stairs, stairs representing the climb up and down the class system, and windows, they have so much meaning in this movie. There's a lot of windows. For example, the Kims have one window, and the Parks have, and then, like, entire walls made of glass. Um, and Bong Joon-ho actually explains that the basement windows represent the idea of distant hope. So in the middle of the movie, there is a giant tonal shift, going from a drama comedy to a thriller tragedy. And what I wanted to touch on here is how seamlessly Parasite goes through the genres, especially at that middle point, where you're all building up and you see this family succeeding and you're almost rooting for them, until it hits the point of no return, essentially. Us as viewers have no control over this change, and all we can do is watch as it falls further and further into this dark and tragic tone until the very end of the movie. And yet the theme, and the moral of classism, just stays the same. And as we watch this family struggle, we go from sort of rooting for them as the underdogs to just wishing that they would stop, or at least that somebody would stop what they're doing and just look around. Um, the parks are the epitome of blissful ignorance, and they don't see anything that's going on, especially between the, the Kims and Moon Gwang and her husband, and just how the classes and how the lower class are continuously fighting and committing atrocities towards each other, and yet the 1% who loom over everything don't give it a second thought. So Parasite doesn't really fit into a three-act structure. It feels more like two completely different movies strung together. Two movies, two halves, two families, two perspectives of each side of the class divide. And at actually the exact middle point of the screenplay, and at the middle of the movie, you see the Kims are reveling in their success until the doorbell rings. Bong Joon-ho actually refers to the doorbell as the real start to the film, which is when Moon Gwang, the original housekeeper, shows back up to the house and reveals to the Kims that her scary husband has been living in the basement this whole time, being a parasite to the parks, which is basically what the Kims are doing themselves. So Parasite is a drama that turns to a heist film, to a comedy, to a thriller, and eventually to a tragedy, and Bong Joon-ho does it all brilliantly. And what makes this film so effortlessly amazing is that it completely understands the rules of storytelling, of how a good story is told, and it, especially being able to do so in not following a three-act structure, but by almost feeling more like two movies thrown together. It's fantastic. I don't really know what else to say. Um, but the genius, especially when everything is built up to a party, 
and it all comes absolutely crashing down, it is like a crescendo. It hits the climax, and when it hits it, it hits so hard. And then things just keep going until eventually they roll to a stop. Um, and it's, it's fantastic. So if you haven't seen Parasite, I don't know why you're watching this vlog, but if you haven't, go watch it. It's on Hulu. You've probably gotten spoiled by now, but you, know, you should watch it anyway, because there were so many things that I can't even discuss. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope that you appreciated and love that movie as much as I do.